So I'm in my MG ZS EV here uh, today and uh, it's been the first nice day of the spring. Uh, it's 10 degrees. Um, it was 12 degrees earlier but it's now 10 degrees and I've just done a drive and probably like a lot of EV drivers they're seeing their um, battery electric cars suddenly doing a better range today. Well more better driving economy. So I've just driven 98 miles. It's taken me three hours and I average 4.3 miles per kilowatt hour. And as you can see, the battery is roughly at 50% uh, there, and we've got 80 miles left on the gasometer. Um, so yes, first time I've seen anything over four miles per kilowatt hour. I've only owned this car in the winter, and I've been getting anything between 2.9 and 3.4 miles per kilowatt hour. So, um, you know, slightly better weather, didn't need the heating on so much, and now I've got a mile per kilowatt hour extra. Um, and actually I did the same trip uh, a week ago and um, I got back and only had 30 miles range and a week later I've got back and got 80 miles range. So that is in eco mode. So if I just knock that up to normal mode we can see that it's, the guessometer is saying 72 miles left. So yeah, um, it just shows what a difference warm weather makes. Not that it's warm. 10, 11, 12 degrees isn't particularly warm, but it's better than one or two degrees that it has been the last couple of days. Um, so yeah, roll on summer. Uh, if this raises by another five, six to 10 degrees, we're gonna see a be much better improvement in uh, driving economy and therefore better range. Averaging 4.3 miles per kilowatt hour, uh, this is uh, roughly a 42 kilowatt hour battery pack of usable size. So that um, equates to 180 mile range at that driving economy. And that's exactly what we're showing here on the figures. I've done, well, near enough anyway. I've driven 98 miles and we've got 80 miles left uh, in that driving mode. So, yeah, theoretically 180 mile range. Um, but, of course, this was fairly economical driving. Uh, that said, not hugely economical. If I was in my Ionic doing this same drive today... I would be getting one mile per kilowatt hour more than that. 4.3, uh, okay, it's an SUV, not particularly aerodynamic, is okay, but, um, you know, that's still not, uh, the, these aren't particularly efficient cars. Um, you know, I know the Ionic's the most efficient, but in other cars, I you know, I end up BMW i3 and a Zoe and a Leaf, I've pretty much driven them all, actually. Um you yeah this you, you, that sort of driving i've been doing i'd have been getting 4.6 to 4.8 quite easily in other evs but you know it is what it is you're sat up high it's very comfortable i'm quite happy with that it was a a, a three hour drive as you can see and um i've driven three hours without stopping and without charging and i've still got 80 miles range that battery pack's big enough for me okay adio bye